Hello everyone, welcome back to Lights Up, Lights Down. It's time for another workshop update. Chris is away at the moment. Um, he's gone He's gone to a wedding somewhere, can't remember where. Um, so yeah, so we recovered from the Owners Club show and delivering that um, low mileage Montana to St Ives. So we've finally got a week of relative normality, which is good because there's a lot to be done. Let's just show you what the car part's looking like at the moment. So we've got our row of breakers at the back there. Um, this one here is also a breaker. That's the one where I showed with the interior that had been removed last in the last video. Ollie's just taking some bits off. Ollie's right at the back there. You are right, Ollie? Say hello. Right. <laughs> He's taking some wheels off one of the breakers. They're going out on Saturday. Um, Ollie's car's coming on. His engine's been mucking about the tune on his engine. Um, we've still got the the green really clean green mark one still here got some more interest in that though at the moment the 11,000 mile arctic this one's a bit interesting this is a jacked up kind of rally spec mark one it's quite good Roy's, Roy's been working on that one he's been doing sort of general servicing really on that it's great all right let's head into the workshop so yeah so it's good to be back and good to have a relatively normal week albeit Chris is off for a couple of days but compared to what we have been putting up with in the last few weeks it's uh it's quite good to be back to some form of normality right start with Ashley me you're on Roy's ramp yeah I know well I'm you're lost. in Roy's space anyway I'm all lost and <laughs> more days than confused than normal <laughs> So this one's been in a few videos, hasn't it? This is a one where, I think it was in the last video actually, where you just got the, and possibly the one before that as well. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, it's just come back from paint. It's a bit wet. It's been raining ter loads this week. Every morning has been absolutely throwing it down. Yeah, normal England. Yeah, so yeah, back from paint. ashley has been putting it back together. And one of the other things is putting a new roof on it, isn't it? Not really a lot more to say about that, is there? No. Other than get on with it, get it done, because the customer wants to pick it up. <laughs> uh, Roy's taken over one of Ashley's to just get it get it finished while, while Ashley's doing the other one. So this one's had um, inner seals and outer seal panels, and then, as you can see, stone chips on there. And it's about to be... Colour's about to go on, isn't it? Well, I need to take down some of the texture first and blend this in. Yeah. Uh, to get all the same texture. And then, yeah, remask really it and put some colour on it. So, do both sides. Which is always fun with titanium and grey, isn't it? Oh, yeah. yeah it's either too dark or too light. Yeah, light titanium and grey is probably the worst colour to match. Um, I think we've got, how many variants have we got? Uh, it's got five. Yeah. About five variants. Yeah. It all oh, depends yes. on how it's faded and yeah. You if you if you start looking at titanium grey cars you'll notice that they're not all the same colour. Which is great. It's really helpful when you're trying to match it in. So yeah, so that one you're aiming to get that one done today, aren't you? Yeah, we'll get something today. Uh, actually also got a brake colour from the front Yeah. Uh, so that's when we go, we've got to bleed the brakes and then Sorry? Yeah, we've got the oh, yeah, wheel refurb. Yeah, wheel refurb. This is uh, we've yeah. we've done these before with the um, the what is this? I can't remember what this model is now. It's, Euphonic, uh, that's it. Yeah. Uh, you'll see on one of the other videos where we've done those in the original kind of black chrome. Actually, this one also had the lower seal end plate repair. We're doing less of that these days. It's more complete seal end plates, but this one wasn't actually so bad, so we could do the the lower repair. Just moving on, show you the other side. So, pretty much exactly the same. So, yeah. that will be going out on Saturday. This one here, um, Ollie's been doing a machine polish on this one. It's one we've had come in um, to sell on commission for someone. We only do that with with certain level quality of cars, of which this is one. It's coming up really well with the polish, actually. Um, yeah, it's, it's really bringing it to life as it goes. So what it's had so far is a compound, 
and then we'll just do a polish but it's yeah it's really coming up really nicely it did actually look quite bad beforehand so yeah I'm sure that'll mean we can ask a little bit more money for it but as you can see let's see if the camera can pick up on the it's a bit dark down there but it's the seals are completely solid and completely original as are the arches um, which is pretty rare to see if this one comes out any better. You can see all the, as we always say, things to look out for. The original spot welds, which are all there. I'll show you underneath. Probably should have got a torch. Let me get a torch, because that's going to be a lot better. Ah! Jim's got me a torch. Right, let's have a look. There we go, that's better, isn't it? So yeah, as you can see, really nice under here. It has had a light under seal in the past, but not over rust. It's, these are really clean arms. That's that's more of a protection under seal that that's had. I'll show you those seals again. Just some light. There you go. So as you can see, very clean indeed. So this one will be up on the website soon, unless someone snaps it up before before it gets on there. But it will get it, hopefully it will get on there. Right, let's see. What are you up to then, Jim? Uh, just checking this one out. Um, we are doing rear seals, both sides, um, and a section of long things. No, I'll put it down somewhere, and now I don't know where I'll put it. <laughs> Section under this one that's going to be one we're doing. Ouch, just hit my head. Okay, yeah, so that's, that's what we call this, this panel from here to here. A lot of people would think of that as a floor pan, but it's not, it's actually part of the sill. So we call that floor to sill panel. Of which we will be having those panels on our website when I remember to actually put them on it. Um, so that's going to be, well, you'll have, to, you'll have to kind of cut it out and patch it, won't you? We've got them now, we don't have to make them. We've had them for ages. Right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but interesting, it's it's fine on the other side. The seal's fine. Yeah, I think that's probably been down to it's, it's had yeah, it's block, probably block seal drains at some point. Um, back ends. Jack and point seems fine. Yeah. Inner and outer. It's going to be the inner and outer. So it's been cut out. You've been doing that this morning, haven't you? Yeah. So yeah, when it's cut out, you have to do a bit of a repair there on the. On the inner upright, yeah. um, and then the inner. You know, so, have you managed to cut out the other side yet? No, no. Yeah. Uh, see, see, what, see what the other side looks like. So, people get an idea of what that side was like beforehand. We've got previous repairs in there that are causing problems. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, the other side looked pretty similar to that, but it's like this bulge in here. It's a bit of a giveaway that all is not quite right. Um, yeah, okay, and then. This one, other one you've been, Jim. This one. Jim's been, Jim's been multi ramping this week. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, this is uh, nearly nearly finished. This one, so that's that's the seal. It's been painted. So that was an inner and outer, wasn't it? Yeah, just a simple inner and outer on that one. Yeah. Too bad. And I'll get under sealed up in there to clean that up. So that's one side. Uh, it is down for an under seal as well, isn't it? And we're also got to do that that oil seal on the diff there because that's leaking, so that's going to get done, and then the under seal will get done. Um, and that side, this one goes out. Not like this coming Saturday, the following Saturday. So we're ahead of the game on that one. So yeah, okay, thanks, Jim. Um, so that's a bit of an update of what's been going on this week. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching, and we will catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.